Chapter Two of Stories from God's Holy Book by Josephine Looney. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Maria Therese. Angels. Patricia skipped about the room chanting, Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom his love commits me here, ever this day be at my side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Isn't it fun to talk to your guardian angel, Bobby? she asked. Sometimes mine talks to me, too. Once he told me to stop when I started to run across the street. I stopped and saw a car coming fast around the corner. Bobby thought about it for a moment and then asked, What does commit mean, Joe? It means different things, Joe answered. In the prayer Patricia was saying, commit means to put in someone's care. When we are born, God puts each one of us in the care of an angel. This is our guardian angel. He watches over us day and night as long as we live. When we die, if we have been good, he takes our soul back to heaven. I wish, exclaimed Bobby, that I could see my guardian angel. Is he big or little? Joe laughed. You'll see him some day, Bobby, and you'll see that he is very strong and very beautiful. But what you're supposed to do now is listen to what he says. Whenever you want to do something naughty, he tells you not to. Whenever you want to go where there is danger, he warns you to be careful. And he's always with you, even though you can't see him. What does angel mean? Bobby asked. The word angel means messenger, Joe answered. Angels are God's messengers. Long ago he used to send them down from heaven to give his messages to people on earth. My mother sent me over to give Patricia's mother a message this morning, Bobby observed. I must be an angel and he laughed at his own joke. Patricia told him that she certainly did not think he was an angel. You haven't any wings, she pointed out. No, Joe agreed. Bobby isn't an angel, but it's not because of the wings. We see angels with wings in pictures, but real angels haven't bodies at all. They are spirits. God is a spirit, too, and our souls are spirits. While we live on earth, we can't see spirits, but we know they are real. Bobby patted himself in several places, as if to make sure he had a body. Can't angels do anything else but be messengers and guardians? Patricia demanded. Oh, yes, replied Joe. They live in heaven. There they see God face to face, just as you see Bobby and me here in this room. God is so wonderful that the angels are never tired of praising him and thanking him for all he has done. When we die, if we have been good, we shall go to live with them and help them sing God's praises. You told us the other day about God making people, Patricia remarked. But when did he make angels? He made the angels before he made our world. They were to live with him in heaven and be very happy. But then a sad thing happened. All the angels were beautiful, but the most beautiful one of all, Lucifer, decided he was too grand to obey God. He got many other angels on his side, and they all said they would not obey. So God called his strongest angel, Michael. We call him Michael the Archangel. God said, Michael, gather all the good angels together, then drive Lucifer and the bad angels out of heaven. A fierce battle followed. Michael and the good angels won. The bad angels fell down out of heaven. As they fell, they were changed from beautiful angels into ugly devils. The place to which they fell is called hell. It is a very bad place. They must stay there forever and ever. They can never go back to heaven. I'm glad I don't have to live with them. Patricia shivered at the idea. I'm going to be a warrior angel like Michael, Bobby announced. He grabbed the poker and waved it like a sword. Then maybe I'll get right to the very top of heaven. End of chapter 2